silky soft chunks of eggplant in a sauce that's like a full-on umami bomb and then a little bit of beautiful chili oil at the end ah this is one eggplant dish you are going to want to master at home all right so i'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is quite possibly the best eggplant dish that i know how to make i love this one wait till you taste the flavor and the texture of the eggplant is amazing and we don't have to do any of that deep frying business that you have to do with a lot of eggplant recipes so Let's get on with it. Uh, I'm gonna start off with these eggplants here now. Let's talk about the eggplant for a minute because I've got these ones that are about palm size. Uh, the really big ones, I tend to find that you will have more of a risk of a bitter eggplant. So I try to find the smaller ones if you can. And I wanna take the tops off these and cut them in half. And then I like to have wedges here. And you can keep them quite chunky because they will soften up so much and I do want to keep some of their shape at the end. Okay, so this next step is another precaution that we're going to take to make sure that we don't have a bitter eggplant flavor. So I like to just sprinkle these with some salt. And then just pop them into a colander. and let the salt do its magic for about 30 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm gonna make a braising liquid for our eggplant. We're gonna start off with some miso paste. This is just a white miso, also called shiro miso, and some soy sauce, some vinegar, some stock. So I'm using beef stock because I wanna give it like a bit of a meaty oomph, uh, but you can use vegetable stock as well just to keep it vegetarian, and some sugar. Now just scoop off all of that miso. We don't want to miss out on any of that flavor. That's where the umami flavor is going to come from for our sauce. And now I want some aromatics. I'm going to go in with some ginger. And some garlic. Okay, so if we have a look at our eggplant now, you can see we've got some liquid that's come out of there and hopefully some of that salt has absorbed into the eggplant as well. So salt always, for any kind of application, will diminish a bit of flavor. You would think it would be sugar, wouldn't you? But it's actually salt, so there you go. More food nerdiness for you guys. Um, now tip this out onto a tray lined with some paper towel. And I just wanna cover these and really give them a good squeeze get rid of any of that extra liquid in there. So with a lot of eggplant recipes, whether it's Chinese or Italian, a lot of the time they start out by deep frying the eggplant. And you could go ahead and do that here as well. I just prefer when I'm doing this dish just to keep it a little bit more simple, just use a little bit of oil and I'll show you my technique for making sure that they get a little bit of color and soften up a bit. Now I'm gonna add in my eggplant pieces kind of like a little bit of a puzzle. I want to fit as many as I can into this dish. And just let these pieces go for a couple of minutes until we get a little bit of color happening on that side there. And then when I've got a little bit of a light tan golden color here, I'm going to flip them over. Wait for some color on that second side. And now I'm going to pile these up into a corner and then add in a few more pieces. Now the reason we're doing it this way is that I do want to keep everything nice and snug in here for when I add my liquid because um, I want it all to braise, I want the liquid not to burn. If there's not enough liquid in a wider pan, it would burn because of the sugars and the miso paste. So there is method to the madness. And just make sure those ones that you've piled up, you're just kind of turning them over. Oh, I'm getting some lovely colour now. Okay, so at this point I've got a pan here that is chock full of eggplant. I've got some that have got a bit of colour on them. And now I'm going to pour in my sauce. Mm, the smell of that ginger and the garlic is amazing. Now just pop a lid on that and reduce the heat down and let that simmer for 10 minutes. So while that's happening, I'll just slice some spring onion. Now I just have to wait patiently for that eggplant, which is already smelling amazing. So let's have a look. Mm. That eggplant is really nice and beautifully silky soft. 
And what I want to do now is thicken up that sauce a little bit. So I'm going to add some corn flour just mixed with a little bit of water. Mix that through. Now just pile that out onto a plate. Don't leave behind any of that amazing sauce. And now here's a little optional extra, but I love to drizzle this with my homemade chili oil. It's got loads of spices in here. You guys have told me how much you love it, so I know a lot of you have made it. There's a recipe for this on my YouTube channel. Um, so I'm just gonna drizzle that over the top. And then just a little sprinkling of spring onion. Ah, oh, I get so excited about this one. Silky soft eggplant, mm. and that beautiful sauce. Oh, and then the spicy chili oil, love that. Oh, I tell you what, even your staunch meat eater friends are gonna love this one. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks guys.